Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Today we're at the Coliseum. It's finally been built, and basically what you do here is you can bet items, fight monsters, not Ultros. Uh, if you bet a bad item or something, you'll have to fight Chupon, and he'll just sneeze you out of the battle. So, that's no good. But, basically, you can get some really rare items, or some items that are just not attainable yet, uh, by other means. So, I'm going to be showing you how to get some really good stuff here. Huh, okay, apparently the Emperor hid a secret treasure! But I thought he was dead. Huh, well, I'll have to check that out later. So, now what I'm going to do is rearrange my setup and get ready for my first battle here. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so sure, let's fight in the Coliseum. Now it gives you your item list here, so let's select the item we want to bet. First one I want to bet is the Regal Crown that I just got. And I'm going to have Sabin fight this guy, a Pinnacus. He is weak to fire, so basically what I did was I equipped Sabin with the Atlas Armlet, Genji Glove, two Fire Knuckles. Uh, against this guy specifically, I have the Gaia gear that I had earlier. Now basically the way it works when you're fighting in the Coliseum, is you're sort of semi berserk You'll sometimes attack, or cast a spell, or do something randomly. But anyway, uh, yeah, I can't select commands, but for winning this battle, I get the Genji Helmet, one of the best helmets in the game. So now I want to, uh, the next one I want to do is also with Sabin with the same setup, but I want to bet, uh, where is it? The Soul Saber, I'll get a Falcon Sword. So I'm gonna take care of that and be right back. Okay, I won the uh, Falcon from uh, Apinicus. It was the same battle as before, just a uh, different item bet, different item won. So now I have the Falcon, so I'm betting that against an outsider. Hopefully this will miss. It probably won't. Nope, let's try that again. This is basically what you gotta do at the uh, Coliseum, because if you lose, you lose the item. So that's no good. But basically, yeah, I wanna bet this here to try and get that flame shield from this guy. Come on! Damn it! He's susceptible to instant death. So basically my strategy consists of using Genji Gloves, two trumps, hope that Setzer gets him. Yes! 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 Got him! Oh, there we go. And we got the flame shield. Okay. So I want to adjust my setup for the next item I want to win then. Okay, I've got Sabin set up again. So let's uh, bet the Charm Bangle to try and win the Dragon Horn from Retainer. Now my strategy for this guy is basically Genji Glove, two Poison Claws because he's weak to poison, and a White Cape to possibly dodge his uh, instant death attacks. Pretty low chance of it working, but the rewards are well worth it. The Dragon Horn is amazing uh, in combination with the Dragoon Boots. So I'm hoping that I can get you know one or two other hits with the uh, Poison Claws, get lucky, and win the Dragon Horn if I can. Get an extra poison spell in there? Why not? Okay, one more hit. Come on, Sabin. One time! One time, dealer! Come on, can I survive this? Okay, we're good. Uh, I don't think a suplex will finish him, but we'll see. Did it get him? Yes! Yes! I got him! woo -hoo! Oh my god, I can't believe I... How did that not trigger an instant death counterattack? I don't know, but I got it. All right. Okay, well, I think that's uh, all of the really hard ones that I'm going to be doing for right now. Remember that Mirasame we got back at the uh, floating continent there? We're going to bet that here. Basically, same setup as before with Sabin. Uh, poison Claws. Ow. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, but I got the Hero Ring on him instead of the White Cape because I don't care. I also figured out why I was able to uh, win the battle without the instant death counterattack. What happened was um, he died from being poisoned. You saw a little bit of damage happen right after I suplexed him, and uh, so that's why he didn't counterattack. I, I think, that's my guess. But anyway, Poison Claws, Boris is weak to poison. We win the aura, and now I'm gonna adjust my setup again. Okay, Edgar, it's your turn. Let's bet the aura we just won to possibly get a straddle if I can win this battle for a change. Oh, we got a preemptive attack. All right, yes, jump. First things first, uh, Dragoon Boots, Dragon Horn that I just won. Those are the relics I want on him. 
Basically what the dragon horn does is when you jump, well you'll see in just a moment, you can jump multiple times per jump. Uh, at least two, possibly three or four. So that's a very nice relic to have for Edgar there. The other thing we want is the flame shield that I also just won. What that does is it absorbs fire elemental attacks, nullifies ice elemental attacks, which will block two of Ryos' attacks. Uh, the only thing that Ryos has that can kill me is Arrow. But uh, Surge is ice elemental, the flame shield will block that. He also has a flare star attack, which is fire elemental. Uh, the flame shield will take care of that. So let's see, we got two, okay, one more uh, jump ought to take care of him, assuming he does not use Arrow. If I can avoid Arrow, I'll be fine. Come on, yes, okay, I, I should have him. If I get, yeah, he can't even physically attack me while I'm in the air. Edgar's pretty good in the, uh, in the Colosseum because he can stay in the air like that one-on-one. -on -one. The enemy can't really do much. Damn it. Well, one more hit from anything ought to do. I mean, even an auto crossbow, or a drill, or a fire spell, or bio blaster, that might work too. I think he is susceptible to poison. Yeah, that's how I managed to win that last battle, poisoning to death. Come on, Edgar. Yes! Okay, we got him. Just basically land and we won the battle. Sorry about the frame rate with the uh, fast forwarding there, viewers, but we got the strato now. Okay, it's finally Celis' turn to get in on the action, so let's see what I can do. Strato, bet it to possibly get a Pearl Lance, the best weapon in the game for Edgar there, so let's see what I can do. Now, Akila is weak to ice, so basically my strategy is Genji Glove, two Blizzard Swords, I think that's the best way to go. Of course, if Celis keeps on casting spells, that won't help, but we'll see what we can do. I like Celis a little better than Edgar for this battle because of the extra magic evade Celis gets from the uh, Mystery Veil, but you could use Edgar with the Dragon Horn, but that can be uh, a little unreliable, but it's another way of doing it. I figure, you know, if you have the Blizzard Swords, you can, uh, you know, get in uh, more damage than you could by equipping them on Edgar with the Dragoon Boots. Well, I suppose that wasn't entirely useless. Oh, Mute actually worked. Sort of. I'll still die from a physical attack. Come on, Celis! Yes! Got him! Got that freaking bird! And the Pearl Lance. Alright. Okay, now this one should be a whole lot easier. But an Elixir with Setzer. I'm, I think I'm guaranteed to win this battle. Basically, use dice to get around Cactrot's... Um, you know, uh, high of eight. And there you go. Guaranteed win, get the rename card. Okay, I think we've got enough time for just one more battle. So, uh, let's bet that rename card I just got and try to win the Marble Shoes, one of the best relics in the game. Hey, we got a preemptive attack. All right. Now, Doom Dragon has a lot of HP, 18,000. So, this could be a little tough. It'll take a while. Uh, yeah, Fallen 1 reduces your HP to 1. If he follows up with a physical attack, I'm dead. I have no way of getting around that. Uh, but basically my strategy is to use Dragoon Edgar with the Flame Shield to absorb South Cross, and uh, I believe it also absorbs or negates his uh, North Cross attack. So basically the only way he can kill you is with Fallen 1 physical attack. So that's pretty nice. Something else I did off-screen was I bet one of those Genji Gloves that I had uh, to win a Thunder Shield from Hemophyte. Basically, just use Dragoon Edgar setup. He's pretty easy. I didn't feel it necessary to uh, uh, demonstrate that battle. But then I also bet that Thunder Shield to win a Genji Shield against Outsider. Uh, use Setzer with his trump cards. That's the way to go. Another piece of equipment that you can get here is Genji Armor. You can bet those tabby suits and chocobo suits here, and you bet it so many times down the line, eventually you will be able to, uh, what is it, uh, win a Genji armor. The problem with that is that you have to uh, fight veteran somewhere down the line, which has a lot of instant death attacks, and it is just way, way, way too hard to uh, try to win 
a, a battle like that. I'm going to wait until I can get something that can protect against instant death or a character who can equip the uh, memento ring there to protect against instant death. So, you can get it now, but I don't think that's the way to go. But, basically, I think this is the last thing that I want to try and get. A pair of Marvel shoes. Come on, Edgar! Go! Yes! Got it! Alright, and we got the Marvel shoes. So, I think that's about everything that I want to win here. So, now I'm going to be heading over to uh, Daryl's Tomb next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day.